Hello together. You have probably heard of ChatGPT lately, the artificial intelligence and the best chatbot who is currently available. Today I want to test ChatGPT and see what it knows and can do in relation to SAP and ABAP. We have to register first or if an account already exists we have to log in. For this we open this link and we click on the button try chat gpt. So I'm already logged in. So I click on next, next and done. And then I zoom here a little bit. And we see here the, some examples, capabilities or limitations. Then I switch to dark mode. And now I want to start with my first question. What means ABAP? And okay, we see the answer is very good. What I want to know was advanced business application programming. Okay. The next question is who is the boss of SAP? Okay. This question is also answered correctly. And now let's start with the ABAP code. And the first question about ABAP code I want to ask is create hello word in ABAP. Okay. The syntax looks good. And there's a little explanation here. So I think we don't we don't have to test this syntax. But I want to know uh, the code of the Hello World program with the new syntax with classes and so on. So I write Hello World. in ABAP with new syntax. Okay. Okay, we see here the class definition, then the implementation of a method say hello and how to call this method. Okay, the code looks very good. Then is uh, some explanation. Let's uh, stop this and let's copy this code. And I go to my SAP system. Here I have already created a program. And now let's paste the generated code here and we click on activate. Okay, no errors. So let's run the code. Okay, the code works. Okay. Let's go back and ask some sophisticated questions. For example, um, uh, remove leading zeros in ABAP. So now I'm curious about the answers. Okay, the first is the condense function. Second, replace.
Oh, but I'm not sure if the condense function works here. I think not. But let's uh, stop this here. And let's uh, try the condense function. So I copy this code and I go back to my SAP system. So let's paste the code here. But I'm, uh, I'm not sure if it works because the condense function only removes the space between strings. But okay, let's write out the output string, activate and run the code. Okay, and we see here the, the leading zeros are already here. So let's go back. So what I expected here is uh, a code, uh, something like this. Um, output string is, then I use the uh, string template here and uh, open the bracket. Uh, and here write the uh, output string with is uh, seven. This is the number of my uh, values here and alpha is out. So with this code, we should able to remove the leading zeros. Okay, here we, we need the space. Then activate. Okay, there's an, we need a, here a space again, uh, a space two. Let's activate and let's run the code. And now we see the leading zeros are not here. Okay, so the answer here was uh, not good. But let's try a... Uh, uh, And more and harder question, for example, export the table S flight to Excel in ABAP. So now I'm curious about the, the answer. Okay, the function GUI download, the select statement is okay, but the, the function call is not okay because you can't pass here the internal table LT as flight because you have to do some conversions before. So this code uh, will not working. Uh, will not work but the bot generate uh, another code okay okay the select statement is okay the bot uses the inline declaration okay it's good but i'm not sure if this code export my table to an excel I don't think so. But okay, uh, he, he displays some other classes. Let's copy this code and test it in the SAP system. And let's check the code. Okay, as I expected, that there are some errors but okay I don't will uh, check this code here because it's um, we cannot use it it's it's not not a good code but let's let's uh, ask another question and uh, in which table the SAP passwords are stored so I write here in which table in SAP are the password 
sort. Okay, and the answer is right. The passwords are stored in the table, normally in the table USR02. And the explanation is also good. Yes, it's an impressive tool in my opinion. You can definitely get some inspiration on a wide variety of topics by communicating with this bot. There is still room for improvement in terms of programming languages and syntax. In my view, a good book is still the preferred choice here. At the same time, I think that the bot is good enough to solve simple tasks. Will replace this software developer and programmer? No. Yes. That was my brief impression of this tool. Try it yourself. I would be particularly happy about the thumbs up, a subscription or a comment. I hope you will check out the next video. Thank you and see you soon.